I am really excited today to show you the growth of my mini braids after having these in for a whole eight weeks, the longest I've ever kept my mini braids in. So stay tuned with me to the rest of the video. Welcome and welcome back to Simply Shovel. We talk about all things natural hair, including my own natural hair journey, styling ideas, DIYs, and so, so much more to help you grow your natural hair long, healthy, and strong. Warm welcome if this is your first uh, time on my channel, first video you've seen, welcome, welcome to Simply Chev. And if you've been around with me for a while, welcome back. I want to say a big thank you to all the ladies that's participated in this challenge, whether you did two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, or the all eight weeks like myself. I just want to say just well done, well done, whatever amount of times you've done. If this is your first video and you're thinking, oh, I've missed the challenge, don't worry. I will be giving my hair one week break and then I'll be announcing the next challenge. So don't worry, we are going to have another challenge to go on. So, okay, so I'm going to show you just like generally how much growth I've got on my hair overall. Also, I've made a series of videos on this challenge. So do go ahead and check out the mini braids playlist for detailed information on how I've been uh, carrying on on the challenge over the last eight weeks. So this is not the only video. Do check out the playlist for this challenge and also the virgin hair fertilizer videos, which also accompanies this challenge. So I'm showing you overall what my hair looks like. I can say by this point, my hair is a mixture of twists, a few bigger plaits, etc. Because I've started to sort of take down my hair for whatever reason it was I actually installed most of my braids on the 18th of february so although the challenge started about the 21st my braids were in for a little bit longer and they took a while to install about three or four days so um it really started to uh, be installed around the 18th so that's why i've started to like take it down a little bit quicker some areas started to take down Okay, so I'm just going to give some general feelings on how I felt on the challenge. Towards the end, especially in the last three or four weeks, I just wanted to take my hair out. It was so frizzy and it was very hard to work with. I just wanted to take it out. So overall, it was great for keeping my hands out of my hair. But towards the end weeks, I wanted to take it down because practically it was just really frizzy and I just had to be covering either with a scarf or a headband um, just to make it look presentable to wear it. So overall, it's a great style. But if your hair type especially is like mine where it's prone to being frizzy, you might find that towards the end of the challenge you are a little bit you know just not wanting to wear your hair out because of frizz right so let's get on to the first measurement my first measurement is at the crown of my head now i do want to say this is where my hair grows the fastest and on this section i actually managed to get two inches of hair i was absolutely just in shock i know i've been using the virgin hair fertilizer alongside this challenge which i've done a lot of updates and letting you know that that's really good growth aid but i've also been incorporating aveda Aveda's really helped to strengthen my hair. So, you know, we put in the hair fertilizer on our scalp, but really um, hair growth is about length retention as much as it is about the scalp. So as I'm applying that, I'm also focusing on the length of my hair, which Aveda's helped to strengthen. So as we go towards sort of the top of my head, um, that measurement there is just under two inches, as you can see. So it didn't quite make two inches like the front it's just under two inches i've got a video on my channel called get to know your hair tag do watch that my hair is severely damaged in that video but it does give you a lot of information on how my hair is made up in brief my hair has mixed porosity mixed density it also grows at different speed etc and so right there at the side i only managed to get one and a half inches do check out that video just to find out some more information on the different parts of my hair i've got 4c section as that side is coming towards the 4c section and this section does grow a lot slower So this hair is my side measurement and I actually got just an inch and a half there. I wasn't upset at that because that is a slower region of my hair for growing. So one and a half inches there is absolutely great. I'm so, so happy with the amount of growth that I got at the sides. As we go towards the top back, I call this section of my hair. This is proper 4C. This region of my hair is tender. You know, it's all different texture to the front and it is quite a problematic area of my hair to grow. It does retain length really, really good though, but it does grow a lot slower. As you can see, there is a larger braid there because there was some not, it was starting to get knotty and tangly and starting to actually turn dreadlocks. 
so i actually decided to remove some of it sorry about that fluff that you can see right there i actually saw that after i recorded the video and so that section there i didn't get too much growth it was only one inch and then i'm not upset that's eight weeks growth that's half an inch a month for the slowest region growing of my hair so it's absolutely fine i was very very happy with that amount of growth Finally, the back of my hair, which has been the slowest part of my hair. Ironically, it's actually now the longest part of my hair. That's because I've been doing a lot of cutting off the front of my hair where I've sustained a lot of damage. And as you can see, my hair is completely, completely matted down at that section. And it was really time to get these out. Now, it could be down to the size of my braids. And when I'm going to put back braids in, I'm going to make them a lot more uniform and a lot smaller because I think that will help with the matting as my hair grows out. I think this was one of the more surprising areas of my hair to see that it was almost two inches of growth. The actual just at right at above my neck is actually the same texture at the front of my hair, but it does grow a little bit slower. So I was just quite happy with the amount of growth that I got overall on my sections of hair. I think this video shows you that mini braids will grow your natural hair long, healthy and strong and combined with virgin hair fertilizer, which I've been reviewing, will actually probably double your hair growth. So I say go ahead and do that. This year, we are on a challenge to grow our natural hair to its capacity. We're going to be growing myself. I'm getting to go to a waist length. I don't know what length you're aiming for, but you can definitely do it with just these simple uh, proven methods of growing your natural hair long, healthy and strong. So I've gained two inches of growth in two months using virgin hair fertilizer and mini braids. So I recommend using virgin hair fertilizer and I also recommend you doing mini braids. So do go ahead and check out both of those playlists where I've made several videos on both of those. My next video following this will be my takedown video, which I've got quite a detailed takedown. I've got hints and tips. I've got how I felt about the challenge and to some suggestions. And also we're going to have lots of recipe going for Aveda in some videos coming up because those actually help to strengthen my hair and so as I was taking down my hair it didn't look dry my hair was still very very glossy as you can see it's shiny and it looks brilliant even after eight weeks I've been washing my hair I actually washed my hair three times during this challenge so I was actually taking care of my hair overall using hello hydration all the moisturizers and all the goodness fenugreek and all the good uh ayurveda recipes that i've been sharing on my uh do it yourself recipe playlist so check that out as well it wasn't just down to virgin hair fertilizer that grow my hair there were so many other uh elements involved to growing my hair which i will cover in the takedown video to all the ladies still on this challenge and those who just finished i just want to say a huge well done to all of you you are well on your way to growing your natural hair if you've been following the way that i've been growing my hair do put down below in the comments i want to hear from you how you're getting on what you're going to be doing next are you going to be joining my next challenge and i just want to hear from you do put it down below and i just want to say thank you so so much for checking out my content to all my new subscribers i'm so grateful for all of you do give this video a like Stay tuned, do watch all of my playlists and I will see you in my next video. Take care.